Is that a lot of you? We believe it has something to do with uh, uh, some sort of agricultural hazmat spill. A deadly spill claims one life and sends nine others to the hospital. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Barugian. And I'm Alex Backus. And for Alex on Balakian. The Merced County Sheriff's Office is continuing the investigation into what left one person dead, nine others hospitalized. At around noon today, deputies responded to a hazmat incident on Monroe and China Camp Road near Los Banos. They say it was possibly a chemical spray used in agriculture. AJ Cotto was on scene. She joins us now from the newsroom. AJ. Well, Stephanie, deputies and hazmat crews were on scene for more than five hours today. They're now trying to figure out what chemical was used and what exactly went wrong. I need it. I need it. These fields calm again after tragedy hit Thursday. One dead, several others hospitalized. The Merced County Sheriff's Office posting this message to Facebook. And we're not quite sure what we have yet. We all just got on scene, so we began our investigation. We, we believe it has something to do with uh, uh, some sort of agricultural hazmat spill. Deputy Daryl Allen says the call came in around noon. Hazmat crews responding to find an accident involving some sort of chemical spray. One worker killed, another hospitalized. Eight first responders were also taken to hospitals due to exposure. Allen says the area is full of cotton fields and the chemical may have been used agriculturally. I think that is very sad, first of all, because this is a, a community that is known for growing. Ryan Jacobson with the Fresno County Farm Bureau says it's hard to know what happened without knowing the chemicals involved. In this particular instance at this point, we don't know exactly what's happened. Uh, pesticide application and storage in the state of California for the agriculture industry is highly regulated and those individuals that apply those uh, pesticides in the fields uh, are obviously trained uh, uh, on what they're using and how to use them. And the victim has not yet been identified. That worker that was taken to the hospital, his condition is not known either, but those eight first responders are all expected to be okay. In the newsroom, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.